Here we have a thermometer question where they tell us that a thermometer can be read to an accuracy of plus minus 0.5 Celsius. Hmm, where did they get this? How did they even know this uncertainty? Well, for thermometers specifically, when you look at thermometers, standard ones, the smallest division is typically 1 degree Celsius. But each time you look at a reading, let's say I'm going to take a measurement here, I put my eye there, every time your eye looks, the uncertainty will be plus minus half the smallest division. So I say half the smallest division, which is going to be 0 0.5 Celsius. Okay, so that's where we get the uncertainty of 0 0.5 for thermometer. And pretty much any scale, every time you look one time, you read one time, that's going to be half a smallest division. But anyway, here you are measuring a temperature rise from 40 to 100. What is the percentage uncertainty in the measurement of this temperature rise? Ooh, we need to draw a thermometer. Okay, let's draw. Let's make some thermometers here. I'm going to draw a vertical line. Oops. And another one here. Oy, what happened to my drawing? Oh, I want to use a shape. Oh, sorry, sorry. Ah, this is the... Okay. Eh, not very straight, but not very straight, but never mind. We have... At one measurement, 40 Celsius. So here is like 40. Then you increase, increase, increase until 100. So in between, there are many markings, ah, but I'm not going to draw all the markings. So how's, how's the uncertainty going to work? When you are reading a, a change in temperature, the first reading you are looking is actually at 40. So when you look at the 40, you make first reading. That's going to have an uncertainty of plus minus 0 0.5 Celsius. Then the temperature increase, 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 reach 100. Oh, okay, then you look again, you, you put your eye there. There's another uncertainty there, plus minus 0 0.5 Celsius. So your eye look two times, means got double the uncertainty law. So if you want to find, <clears throat> at the end of the day, what's the percentage uncertainty, we got to say, all right, this is a temperature rise. Oh, so it's like a change in temperature. So if I say, all right, change in temperature is going to be... Let's take final minus initial. So we have, ah, this is our equation, minus 100 minus 40. This will give us 60 Celsius change in temperature going from low to high. This is our delta theta. How about the uncertainty? Now look very carefully. This is when we have two uncertainties. Each of these theta have its own uncertainty and we are minusing. So we want to combine uncertainty. Combine absolute uncertainty, which will be each time you read is 0 0.5, you read again is 0 0.5. So total uncertainty in the change in angle is going to be 1 Celsius plus minus. So we can say, oh, change in uncertainty, that's change in angle, change uncertainty. Change in angle will be 60 Celsius plus minus 1 degree. But we want to find the percentage, right? So we have to take, you know, find percentage uncertainty in theta. That will be 1 Celsius over 60. Oh, times 100. Forgot times 100. This one will give us 1 over, oops, 1 over 60 times 100 percent. 1.6666666667 percent is going to be best answer D for this question. Key things to remember is, remember, when your eye look one time, you have half smallest division. Depends on the instrument, roughly, but for rulers, lengths, when we measure, actually, we look two times. One time, you look, uncertainty. You look again, another uncertainty.